Hello, everyone. I love the energy here because if you guys were here last year or if you were lucky enough to go to amazing Comic-Con Aloha in Hawaii, you probably know I am a huge Power Rangers fan. My name is Perry Nemroff. I work for Collider. We're the media partner here. So if you haven't already done so, check us out on YouTube or Collider.com. But to be here yet again, I thought last year when I got to host this panel, it was like a fluke. It was a one in a million chance, and I was so happy and so excited. And then all over again when they asked me to come back and not just moderate a panel with Jason David Frank, but we also have Amy Jo Johnson here this year as well, which is so exciting. I already see the clock on the screen, and I'm not going to waste any time here. So please give a big round of applause for Amy Jo Johnson. <laughs> And I see Jason David Frank right behind her. So please, show them some love right now. Hello, hello. Did we miss our cue? Sorry about that. It, it was like we were a really up. dramatic build. I haven't seen this guy in a while. You had to build the suspense as you oh, walked okay. up. Hi, hello, everybody. Look how cute this one is. Oh, <laughs> what an outfit. These guys hanging out and getting so your shield cute. knocked over. I know how that is. Okay, hang on a sec. I don't want to look Hello, at everybody my in the back. Skirt. I think there's, there's some seats if you guys want to. There's some empty seats over there if you guys want to sit down or, you know, you don't have to. Come on but in, guys. It's good to be back. Okay. Hi. So. It's so, it's always a little bit weirder doing it in the middle of the convention, yeah. no? Yeah. These lights anyway. are intense too. It makes it feel extra official. All right, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Woo. Nice to see ya. All right, so we're gonna jump into oh, a Q&A sorry. now, but we are gonna open it up to questions from the audience at the end. So I'll let you know when to start lining up, but do that and you guys can ask these two some questions. To start here, I believe you have a new video coming to your YouTube channel today, right? What's that? You have a YouTube video yeah, that you're yeah, going to launch yeah, today. Can you yeah, tell everybody about did. it? It's that one. Uh, it's the, the JDF uh, Spoken Truth series that I've been doing. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I did four episodes. This one's called Mental Prison. That I, I was in the hotel, like, trying to download it, and the internet kept, like, and I was like, darn it. I know the tough. internet yeah, really so stinks around of here. Of all times when you need it. But it's called Mental Prison. Just uh, I've been writing poems for a long time. We've been producing them. And it's the fourth one. I just did my fifth one, which is more of a short film. It's a six, seven-minute long short film it's interesting but uh so cool. but yeah that was called mental prison and um, and when i was looking at all the uh the teeing up you had done on instagram and youtube for that video i also revisited some ninjack material because you posted a video so this is a great web series that you should check out they basically had an itty bitty budget and just made the most out of it and the action is incredible you posted a video of that shot where bloodshot gets the knife through the mouth Oh, yeah, so yeah. I am very big into horror and gore and how you achieve that on screen. So I was wondering if you could break that down for us a little, exactly what you needed to do to make that happen. Um, well, the Ninjak versus uh, Valiant Universe, I played Bloodshot in there. And, and the Bloodshot film's already filmed. I saw the trailer with Vin Diesel. Looks really good, by the way. Uh, that's going to be out in February. They've already shot that whole film. But, uh, you know, so I did the Bat in the Sun version of it, which was fun. Uh, and most of the stuff is, you know, FX, like just special effects, you know, like it looked like this. Ugh! And then later they'll put the knife in the blood and everything. But I did have blood in my mouth. What? So, yeah, I just got stabbed in the face. He's bloodshot. So it's on my YouTube channel, JDF FFN, for now until Sony pulls it off. Sticking with genre right now, I hate to do this to you, but after our conversation at the Hawaii Con, you know what I wound up watching? I have no idea. Please. Oh, I watched right, We don't need to talk about that. Um, can you talk a little bit about how your other movie's going? I know you di had directed another feature, and considering how I felt about your last one, I'm eager to see it. Uh, um, yeah, so I've been writing and directing for the last five years, um, which has become my passion, and it's like really all I want to do. So I did a, a feature film called The Space Between two years ago, and I actually, it was really great because I was able to, to make the film because of an Indiegogo campaign. Was anybody part of the Indiegogo campaign in the space between? That guy. What about me? Me and you, bud. And you were. Anyway, anyway it's my that first film nothing. that I wrote and directed. It's called The Space Between. Did anybody see um, uh, Flashpoint? Was it a TV series I did? Raise your hand nobody, if you've seen Flashpoint. Okay, okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so that... 
a lot of the actors from that show are, are in the space between two. And it's a, it's a heartfelt comedy, and I'm quite proud of it. And if you have a chance, you can watch it on iTunes or a bunch of different platforms. And I highly recommend it. Anyway, um, and then I just recently just finished shooting my second feature film called Tammy's Always Dying, and it stars Felicity Huffman, and that'll come out in about a year. So right now we're in post right now, so I'm doing the, the color and the music, and it's like each phase of filmmaking is so, you learn so much, right? She, uh, actually, <clears throat> the short film I'm doing is probably, I have two short films, the Omni Boat that I did a long time ago, that's finally got picked up, being, being produced and finished. And that was a short film, because I was talking to Amy before, and she's like, yeah, you know, you should do some short films. And I was like, eh, you know, what's the point of short films? Which but, one is that? Well, the Omni Boat with Robert Redford and Adam Devine, oh, the I one I've been talking that. forever. You sent me a link to it, yeah, and the link forever, didn't work. Yeah. So, Did you but say it was going to be in Sundance? Yeah, well, they're, they're, that's what they're hoping okay. for. They did get offered another thing, but they turned it down. But I'm hoping because Robert Redford's in it and his nephew's producing it, so maybe it'll have oh, some kind of tie right. in there. But anyway, That'd be fun. Yeah. So I did that, and then I did another short film that's called In My Head. It's, uh, it's, it's like my poem stuff, but I played eight different characters, and it's mostly an and acting who directed thing, but, that? Uh, Albert, one of my... I, okay. I couldn't. I played eight okay. different roles, and we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were you know... You know, as a director, we had a round table, so when we would turn around, we would just turn it around, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm not JDF now. I'm this guy, that guy. So just watching the lines and little yeah. things like that. So, Tricks. but it's, yeah. So Tricks. I did that just because uh, I think in short films, you can, like, you know, show a different side of you or acting stuff. So we talked in Canada a long time ago about that yeah. when we were doing the film. And I, it reminded me of Flashpoint when you guys raised your hand. We were in Canada, and we were on a non disclosure agreement. And we were talking and uh, having dinner with someone. Uh, but anyway, some fans came up and they're like, fan. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, my God, I love Flashpoint. And I'm like, oh, we're on an NDA. And I know we haven't been together in 15 years. Someone's going to take a picture and all the stuff's going to go on. They're like, hey, uh, I love your show. Excuse me, sir, can you? And I was like, me? I was like, yeah, take a picture. So I was like, God, he didn't even really, like, say anything to me. I was like, ready? One, oh, no, two, this was in three. Vancouver. Yeah, I was like, one, two, three. Boom, there it you go, bud. It was the best, you guys. It was like, there it you go, bud. It was so funny. <laughs> It was awesome. It was like, when I don't we even went to do knew. the cameo. So I flew out, and I hadn't seen Jason in like 10 years. And we get there, and we went and had dinner in this restaurant at the hotel um, yeah. the day before we went to shoot the cameo. And then somebody came. It's, I don't know why I thought it was so funny. But they came up, and they asked Jason to take a picture of me and this guy. I thought it was funny. I, it I was, was like, so funny. The, the whole time, the whole time. Was funny. Yeah, I, I wonder now if they know, like, oh, you took a picture. It's so weird. It's, it's so strange, though. I have a quick story, and I'm going to move on about taking a picture. I was doing a Comic Con with uh, uh, Jason, who, you know, Aquaman. And, um, and so I was doing a Comic Con, so they spray painted, like, Jason on this hotel. You know, it wasn't my name, but I thought it was. But I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> really cool. And then I put a little JDF in my window, like, haha, you know, like I put a little JDF in the oh, window. No. 11, 15 at night, I hear this knock on my door. Knock, knock, knock. And I'm like, what the? So I open the door. Hezzy goes, hey, man, I know it's super late, man. Can you take a picture? And I was like, yeah, man. Yeah. And I, I kept doing this to the guy. And he's like, man. And I was like, you take a picture? He's like, yeah, bro, here's my camera. We're totally drunk. I just randomly knocked on a door. If you could just take that picture, bro. And then I took the picture and I went, there you go. And he's like, thanks. And I closed my door. When he said, can I take a picture? I thought he meant with me. <laughs> But he's like, hey, bro, can you take a picture? And I was like, yeah. He knocked on your hotel door. Yeah, just to a have random a door. Random person, random door, and That's says, so can weird. I take a picture? And I was That's like, so trying funny. to put my hand on him. He's just like, oh my God. bro, here, here's my camera. Take a picture anyway. That's what reminded me. So I'm glad because they didn't see, he didn't say anything. I wonder now if he knew, what the heck? But they're like, I love you. Totally, excuse me, totally love you in Flashpoint. This is just nothing us Power Ranger stuff. Like, nothing questions, just Flashpoints. That was funny. Picture by it was JDF. real funny, guys. Speaking of folks getting photo opportunities with you guys, I really <laughs> wanted to ask you about your experience on the con circuit because still, it doesn't matter how many conventions I've been to, the fact that this exists, like, it just, it fills my movie and TV loving heart so, so much. And the way I want to get at it is, I was watching your pitch video for the has been, and I wanted to know what happens next. You were also talking about Indiegogo uh, financing before. 
did that ever pan out? Because I watched the video and there's just something about it that it, I don't know, it seemed to me like you were building towards some sort of like, like a warmth and a real appreciation for what has been created over the years. And I wanted to see it. Uh, well, so I was, anyway, I was developing um, a, a, something that I'm not developing anymore. I decided I didn't want to do it. Um, but anyway, to go back to what you were saying about the con world, um, I, so I, maybe three years ago is when I started doing my first convention. And honestly, like people have asked me, do you, do, have you realized like the impact that Power Rangers has had on people? And I hadn't until three years ago when I went to my first convention. And I've just found it fascinating and amazing to see and hear stories from so many people and start to realize like the impact that this show had on on people on kids who are now adults like so many of you that you know at, when we were in our early 20s doing the show had no I mean I had no idea how it was helping and influencing so many kids and people did you or I mean cuz you started I, yeah. I think when we started and the first thing, just back it up to Las Vegas, not only are we at Comic-Cons, we're in Vegas here at a Comic-Con, which to me, Jimmy runs a great show. To actually be in Vegas to go to a Comic-Con, there's like millions of things to do. So when I was like, Vegas, I wonder uh, Comic-Cons, but then I was like, wow, out of millions of things to do in Vegas, we appreciate you guys coming here. Yeah. You know, which is For super sure. cool. Like, I'm blown away by that. I used to come to Vegas, everyone was like, well, how do you like Vegas? I'm like, son, I've been coming to Vegas before you were born. I've been coming to Vegas here since I was like five, like right. every weekend. There is so but much to do, right? There is a lot. So when they said Comic-Con, I was driving by all yeah. these big stars and thinking this and that. So I'm, I'm happy. And Jim Run's probably the only show in Vegas that can actually succeed and be successful because of the fans. But I don't think we were able to hear the stories because you guys are kids. And sometimes, That's I hate true. saying it, we, we it don't was, listen yeah. to kids. Sometimes you know, and like, well, you know, they're talking about their first crush or the boyfriend, the girlfriend, or how bad, you know, broke their hearts and all that stuff. But we didn't see that until you guys were older to be like, man, that really hurt me, man. You know, because at an eight, nine year old, they'd be like, okay, all right, bud, go play. And you're like, yeah, but I'm sad. You know, and right. I watched Jenna watch this wizardly world thing or whatever, wizardly place or something like that, right? Is that the name of it? She knows it. Why are you laughing then? <laughs> uh, so someone lost their powers and Jenna was like really super sad about it and then I looked and I said I wonder if that's how kids felt when I lost my powers right you know I wonder if that's how you felt when someone broke up with me you know it was right. moving for you guys so right. now we're able to hear the stories because you don't have to you still listen to mom and dad but you're your own individual you can go to comic-con and be like I'm buy a toy you don't have to tell me I don't have to watch a show I'm watching it right. you guys are rebels yeah well, and for me, it was just the, uh, I, like, I didn't understand at the time, because for, for me, probably for all of us, it was sort of the college years. Instead of being in college, I was shooting Power Rangers. So we were focused on, you know, having a good time and hanging out and partying a bit and stuff. And, and really, the impact that it had, I didn't realize until about three years ago. But it's been so great because of just people like growing up with us through my, my career as an actress and now transitioning into writing and directing. And it's just really great. You guys didn't know I was writing and directing. I'm writing and directing now and I really well, you guys, love it. You guys follow? You guys know? Yeah, you follow the pages and all that stuff? The space between. Amazing. Watch it. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's, um, it's nice to have that support system of, of people that sort of grew up with you. And the other great thing about it is, you know when like you're in high school and then you don't see a high school friend until like 30 years go by and then you see them but they, and they're old, but they don't look old because you only see the person from high school? Yeah. That's what I feel like, guys. Like people are like, oh, you look so young. No, I don't. I, I don't I'm know. Just, there's a picture. You're just seeing that. There's person. a picture I was gonna tell you that I saw on Instagram. You look the same. There's in this picture. I was wondering. You're like the only one. Someone put like a group shot of all of us. You probably didn't see it, and I know. But I was looking at it, and I was looking, zooming in. I mean, I got a beard, and I'll, I have to show you in your picture. I had to like really zoom in. It was a regular, natural picture from a comic con. I think it was almost the same position. I'll show you. And you look. I'm, I'm the nervous because I feel like this no, is a I'll joke. No, I'll show you. No, I, I, I promise. I promise. I'll have to show you. It's a picture that someone put together of all of us. 
and I'll show you. I, I mean, as you talk, I'll show you, but she okay. looked the same. I was reading all the comments because I was like, I wonder if people are going to say that. She's the only one that looks the same. <laughs> Should we do questions? Should yeah. people you, come up and ask questions? Do you guys questions? want to start lining up? I would suggest you line up 10 at a time so they don't get like cut off towards the end. You know what I Ho mean? Hopefully we can get a mic right in the middle here and uh, we can take a whole bunch of questions. So hop online now. If you guys could give one piece of advice for a con circuit first time or someone who's just going to start doing what you guys are doing now, what would it be? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, I would probably just do t 10 at a time, but okay. Um, <laughs> we don't want to get cut off it's from okay, the end. It's okay. I, I, I think just be yourself and be there for your fans and, you know, enjoy it, I guess. Because if you don't know the Comic-Con world, don't offend them by trying to guess their character's name because you will offend them. You just say, that's cool, because they're like, that's not the anime show. I'm like, sorry, man. Or, or the worst was, or I was, where was I uh, a couple weeks ago in Phoenix, and I was sitting next to this guy, this lovely man who was on The Office, and some guy comes up and he goes, I loved you on that show. And, and the guy was like, oh, thank you. And then he goes, I'm just kidding, I've never seen it. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's not nice. I was like, that's no, the no, worst. No, no, no. Anyway, that was the that, worst. Why did that happen? I don't know. It was really mean. <laughs> All right, Hi. what's our uh, first question down there? Hi, um, so my name is Rob. I'm from Baltimore. Um, it's been uh, difficult to finally get to a con where both of you guys were at, so it's a pleasure to finally see you guys. Big fan. Um, I, my question is, do you, when you guys were shooting Power Rangers, did you have a specific episode that was your favorite to shoot or any fun, really favorite experiences that you guys had? Because my personal, one of my favorite episodes were when you guys were running for um, class president. That was one of my favorites, um, but I wanted oh. to know. Um, Do you remember the, that one? i seen it on Instagram. Yeah, we've done so many of them, but I, I remember I was like fighting. It was with the someone. one when you had to kiss me, right? No, that wasn't that one. <laughs> That was my was favorite. Was it? I kissed her in that one? I only kissed her we once. Were on a, we were next to a lake. That wasn't the episode I... he's talking about. Is it? No. No, the, the one where you guys no, kissed. No, that was my I favorite. I was running for office. She's trying to put yeah. corruption in there. She hears politics. What She's else? like, that's, you know, the corruption in the politics. What else? Uh, what was your, you said you had a favorite. Was it the, the punks I like switching, switching places. I like punks. I liked with yeah. David Yost. I always got to, like, do something, turn evil or something like that. Yeah. I, I always enjoyed that part. Uh, just the honesty, man, the first day showing up to set when was you had my to best. Kiss me, that one? Not that one. I was nervous, though. Because <laughs> I didn't know, like, what is it, like this? Or I, I just don't know what kind of kiss. Like, what, didn't, I I mean, say it, didn't I say that you I, had, I don't know. I uh, never kissed anyone on TV, so I didn't know what to do. I was really stressed out. He used out. his tongue and everything. No, I, I was did like, not. come on. No, I did not. Look at the little kids frightened over here. <laughs> my first day on set reminded me of this, like bright lights. I didn't really know what was going on. I leaned on like one of the command centers and it rolled. And I was like, man, like nothing. They're like, oh, that's for set turnarounds. No clue what he's talking about. Like, okay, yeah, everything was just fake. And I was just like, big green screen. And they're like, there's Zordon. I didn't know what it was. Talk to the tape. And I was like, okay. Saw all these guys. I was like the new guy coming in. They were kind of already filming. I remember walking past all these sets and I was like, just behave yourself and be good. And just get through the day. And you did it! Look at you now! I did. Look at me you, now. You are Clean the, myself up. Right, the mayor you. of the Power Rangers. Thank you for Rangers. your questions. <laughs> hey, kind of hard though. He is. He's like the mayor. <laughs> I never heard that one. Like the mayor of the Power Rangers. <laughs> what's your you uh, What's your name and your question? Uh, my name is Dimitri. Um, I'm so happy to be here to meet these guys because um, they're my favorite, and I wanted to meet them as a kid, but I Thank never you. got to. Come nice to, to Comic Con, so it's my first Comic Con. Nice to meet you. You're still a kid, though, aren't you? Yeah, but I mean, oh, okay. I'm like 18. The younger kid. So, oh, okay. uh, when I was younger. Okay. Um, my question is uh, for JDF um, What did you guys do f uh, when it got really hot when you're in your Power Ranger costume? Oh, in those costumes. Um, you know, there was a lot of Japanese footage that we had, you no, know, no. so. What about the Australia, in Australia, oh, those yeah. ones? You just go like this, man. You just go like. Get through it. All right, uh, cut. Because we uh, couldn't pee in those ones uh, yeah. either. Oh, I, on did. The, <laughs> I did. Well, it. you Wait. can't pee in it, but it was hard to, like, it took like, an hour to, like, put the no, thing does. on. And as the Green Ranger, even with the shield and all these things, like, can someone just create a little zipper? They have them now, but just a zipper. 
just okay. one for me because like for them you know they can take their gloves but i had to like oh take this off take that off yeah. take my shield off take, yeah so i just held it that's why i've trained myself to hold it 10 hours straight <laughs> I never forget it. Real talent. William Shatner. I was in the back room, and William Shatner says, "Yeah, you don't pee much on these conventions." And I said, "No." He goes, "Here's how you practice: squeeze." Stop. Sque okay. No, all right. Next. Next. I person. swear to God, it was. And I was looking at Shatner. I was looking at Shatner's eyes, and I was saying, "Why am I doing what he's saying right now?" <laughs> it was so weird. Is for real? I promise to God. That's and he, the and, oddest and he's like, conversation and go, ever. And one, squeeze. You know, learn. And I was like, it's "Why?" Like kegels. Yeah, you that's what he said. And I was squeezing. And I was like, why am I can, listening to him? Don't do that too much because you could hurt yourself. And he's going one and two. And I'm doing it. And finally, I was like, this is weird. Like, <laughs> That's very strange. I love There's my Comic-Con thing. Should we all do it together like, now? No. <laughs> because everyone okay, will. No. Because you will. You just do it. It's in your brain. It's just everyone's doing it now, trying it. Stop. 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 Just you continue. You guys, stop Next it. Time. No more Kegels. <laughs> all right. Next question. This is weird. We're Thank going down a rabbit question. hole. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> well, um, this is my second year seeing GDF, which, yay. Nice. And say, first time seeing Amy, so hi. Hi. Um, a question for both of you, and this is kind of regarding the Beast Morphers crossover. Are you two possibly making like a cameo appearance in that crossover by any chance? Not like, in Beast Morphers. It? No, the new season. Uh, Beastie Morphers? Be Beastie Morphers. No, we're what's not. What's that? That's, what, that's her the answer. Beastie Morphers? Oh. <laughs> Beastie Morphers. Beastie, I'm all by what myself is, without a little butt that? tea. The sun is beating down on my baseball morphin' time. What's, what is beast the Beastie Morphers? Morphers, not Beastie. Oh, Beastie beast beast Morphers. Beastie Morphers, Morphers, the new yeah. season. Is that like, oh, the new, the new Austin's season. in yeah, that, yeah. right? Austin's doing it, yeah. Austin like St. John's in there. I don't think it's a cameo. I think he's an actual ranger. No. Oh, well, maybe. I was. I mean, it's a cameo, but I'm sure he's the ranger. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Sorry, what? So, like, not gathering all the ranges one in one episode or anything like that. That'd be too hard, dude. Yeah. There's it's a like lot. There's minutes. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. How many are there? You guys probably like know. Like 100 and something. For the crossover. 100 with rangers. Like 100 and something, right? Am oh my right? god. Imagine. I just had a, a vision the of number? Like, like a musical. Like a dino show. Huh? It was like uh, 12 of them, I believe. It was like either. How many rangers in 26 seasons? Oh, okay. Can you imagine? Over wait, gathering them all. And then singing a song together, like all in costume. That would go viral. <laughs> what would you sing? The theme like, song? I don't know. <laughs> Take your helmets off, man, and yeah. sing. Not with your helmets on. Yeah. Duh. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for your question. Amy sings, too. You all know that, too, right? Yeah. yeah? We know that from I haven't sang yeah. a lot. Hi there. I'm Travis. Hi. Hello. I've been to these conventions for many years now. I always wondered, did you guys get to keep any of your old costume or props from the show? Like, you have it on, like, a shelf at home or something? The only thing... You, you took I everything. I took a lot, yeah, I took a lot. I, the only thing I have is the little coin. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. What'd well, you get? What did you I take? I got the dragon dagger. I've got my Green Ranger suit. I got a bunch of stuff. How did like, you get the, that? Did they know the, you have it? Nah, I wasn't really stealing. It was just kind of like... It just fell in my bag. I was like, whoa, this is weird. Like... And then I felt so bad, like, I don't think I could take it back. But, you, but they did call me on the reunion, and Jonathan's like, Jason, uh... We need your suit. No, like, really, he's like, we don't have that. much. Do you have any props? And I was like, <laughs> I don't know. He's like, just tell me. I won't get mad. I mean, we need them if you have your communicator Did you stuff. fit into the suit? I bet you didn't. No, I, well, we made a new spandex one out of that. Okay. But, I, but, but I saved that one, too. I took that one, too. So I'm, like, doubling up on them. You're but so here's smart. the thing. Because Disney, when they did every season, Disney would destroy the props literally destroyed the props so no one will have them and when saban got it back they have nothing except oh, me oh that's such a bummer do you remember one season when the guy was dating he was a grip and they stole the blue ranger suit and they the whole oh, yeah, grips yeah. or the electric team they yeah. they and they all got fired yeah. do you I, ha that? I have that suit i blamed him you got one man <laughs> you know that was you. you gotta be like dude he stole it no, it wasn't me, but I do remember that. How but yeah, they, they put this stuff on do lockdown. Have? Custom like, helmets? Because you get Six. them all the time at these conventions Maybe. and you post pictures of them and they're beautiful. Yeah, I got the Lord, that Lord Draken one. I sent it to, uh, to get it done in that Louis Vuitton stuff. Uh, he's a, Gabe's a great artist. He's done like, but yeah, I, I, May 6. I mean, I don't buy them at conventions, but I've had them. I don't have uh, Anarchy. I usually have Anarchy's helmets. But as far as helmets, I only have one, which is the I Dino have two. Thunder. Somebody made them. Yeah, I have one from the show and the whole Dino Thunder oh, from suit. from the show. The whole Dino Thunder suit. 
How did I pull wow. that? Wow. Do you have that hanging in your yeah, house? Yeah, in my dojo. Do you? That's so cool. Is there any one thing you guys have been gifted at a con that, I mean, I'm sure you get things from Dorton fans all the time, and is there anything that's kind of like the centerpiece at home that you see that and it really kind of touches you to have that memory? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I, no, I did get a figurine that when you press the back, it's actually my voice that says something. That's, like, is it your voice? or? It's my yeah, voice, it's voice, so I like that Sometimes one. they put the toys, I'm like, it's not my voice. I'm like, yeah. to say something. But yeah. I, I, we get a lot of different things. I, yeah. I usually take pictures, or I have just a whole room full of stuff. People make some really good, you guys make yeah. really good props more than we had on the show. Our suits were like 50 pounds. Even the art, yeah. 50, they were made of rubber tire, like literally tire, like shaved tires and painted. So they yeah. didn't have EVA foam back then. We used like rubber tires. It was so, so hot, so hard to get on. so long ago. That's why you just go to the bathroom in them. <laughs> yeah, it's sweat. I don't know. He stole the blue costume. <laughs> Sir? Now his dreams are shattered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, he's speechless now. You're he's right like, there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hello. What's your question? Of all the can't, the crossovers, what's y'all's most favorite Power Rangers crossover? Because I can name three of them for myself. You name three quickly. Okay. The one with the Dino Thunders and one. the Ninja Storm. No, that's number three. Okay, number three. Go two more. <laughs> number two was Lost Galaxy and the Rangers in Space. Okay. What's your number one, my friend? Number one with the Rangers in Space team up with the Ninja Turtles. I'm pretty sure y'all would remember that. Uh, sort of. I think uh, favorite crossover, uh, I don't know. Wait, what is, is this like in people's imaginations or does no, this no, no, really happen? On the show. This yeah, actually happened. Happen. On the show? They had they, Ninja they Turtles on the show? Yeah, they did. No. Yeah. yeah. It's serious. It yeah, seriously they did. happened. Really? Yeah. yeah. They had a crossovers. We weren't on there though. No. Different season. The crossovers, I mean, the, the crossovers, I only would have done like Dino The Beastie Thunder Boys. When the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. And the... Yeah. The Beastie Boys, no. The, uh, probably Ninja Steel and Dino Thunder for me. I don't think Amy would did crossovers. It would, you have to be part of different, yeah. <laughs> He's oh, like, no. all right, <laughs> next, so dude. <laughs> Pick the one hey, you like. What's Hello, your question? My name is Mark from Apple Valley. <laughs> hey, Mark. Hi, um, this message is for, uh, this question is for both of you. Yes. Um, if you could go back to the Mighty Morphin series, what is one thing you would change or wouldn't change about the way you took the characters? and you know, Probably getting a girlfriend. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, having a girlfriend, I liked that part. <laughs> oh, you change? Oh, I wouldn't change anything. No. I think Tommy getting him a girlfriend, I think it was great. Right, that would be good. Um, Amy, for you? Um, I don't know. I've never even thought of anything like that. What would I change about Kimberly? If you could, or would change. You know, I, I think... <clears throat> Breaking his heart, maybe, and changing that. Oh, well, that? Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys. Come on. <laughs> First of all, I had asked to leave the show, and so they no, said they yes, they so know. they wrote it's me. Stuff. They don't know. They, you do know. It's do movie you know? stuff. Yeah. So, no, half of them think I'm Kim. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm Amy Jo, guys. I'm just kidding. Um, and then I asked to leave the show, and then so they wrote me out. And to do that was like passing a baton. And then Catherine was going to play the Pink Ranger. And in my, the way she I was my rebound, I but didn't she worked. write it, right? <laughs> she got my mind off you. She worked. I mean, it's just life, guys. But she got, but she got the mind off of. All right, you are not Tommy. You no, are no. Jason. But I was saying, if I was Tommy. If you were Tommy. If I was Tommy, and she got my mind for, off Kimberly, but I'm not Tommy, And then also for the I'm kids here. watching, so they wouldn't be so... Yeah. They, yeah, had to, they would needed to like... Don't hate her. That's what you're saying. The kids know it's... You guys, I didn't I mean, write it. I think... I know. I would not. Probably change the girlfriend, but... No, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's kind of... You know, I the what-if questions are so hard for me, because when I used to say that in my karate school... As a four and five year old, my instructor who played Morty, Mortal uh, Scorpion in the Mortal Kombat movies, and Tony knows because he ran one of my schools, we say, What if? And they say, What if your aunt was your uncle? Keep punching. And I'd be like, <laughs> What it could have should have. What if your aunt? I like, so, so I never said, What if? Like, yeah. What if? What if? But I don't think it changed anything. Except fix the shield to match the Japanese footage, maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.
Hey, there we go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm really excited to meet you both because you guys are my childhood heroes. I only like heroes because of you guys. Thank and you. I like evil guys because of you, because you did so well being the best. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I don't like Lord Dragon. I like you as the original Green Ranger when you, you first beat up the Power Rangers. Yeah. Because that was great. But my question is for you, sir. Out of all the rangers you've been, if you could only pick one to be, and that, that it, what ranger would you stay as if Tommy Allen had the chance to be one? Probably the pink on weekends. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I liked the green when I first saw the green. Green wasn't that color in 25 years ago to be like, oh, I have a green car, green shoes. Green, green was kind of like risky, but I, I like it. I, I wouldn't change anything. It's so hard. I've so many different rangers. And when you close your How eyes. How many have you it, been? What? I mean, I did the green, I did the white, did the Zeo, did the turbo, black dino thunder, and then uh, Lord Draken. Six, maybe. That's a lot. Oh. Thank you. But the green, I like the green. Hey. So, um, my name's Jocelyn, and um, this is for um, Amy, and I was wondering um, if you could choose just one color uh, for your costume, what would it be? Probably, if I, had, if I got to choose my, I mean, I like, yeah. I like the pink. You look great in pink, by Thank the way. You. But uh, maybe purple. Was there a Purple Ranger? I think there was in a different season, no? Am I wrong? Mystic Force. Mystic Force. Force. Anyway. That was my favorite uh, crossover. Maybe like a purple, purpley. I do like that. As I could, yeah, yeah. There, they, there, I don't know, if, was there an orange ranger? No. Because like a burnt umber? Like the, no, every time I think the, the orange, I think of like the annoying orange guy. But they did. I did something for Make a Wish Foundation. Who's I just the did a, annoying orange? The guy. annoying orange. You know, and I'm seeing annoying orange on YouTube thing. You know what I'm talking about? It's just annoying. I'll send you a link later. No, no, it's just a annoying orange thing. But, but Hasbro, I did a thing for Make a Wish Foundation, and Hasbro actually built an orange ranger for a kid that was in a Make a Wish Foundation. So they presented him. I think this weekend I just did a video and said, "Keep fighting." His name's Tyler. Uh, so they actually Hasbro, you know, made a little orange ranger suit. I didn't know if there was an orange ranger. Was there before, ever? So that's pretty cool for him. That is cool. Yeah, they may have made yeah. it. Thank you. That was yeah. a great question, thank you. Hi, my name is Ronna Lee, and uh, my question's for the both of you. Uh, what was your best memory working on the MMPR movie? Oh, in Australia. We had fun, huh? Was... Why do you say it like that? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I, all these images were going through my head. I'm like, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. We were like a bunch of kids in Australia yeah. for six for, months. Yeah. We were there like six, six months, months yeah. because we had to film the movie twice because the first Dulcia, Mariska Haggerty, yeah. who is wonderful. I don't know. I don't need, Do you know the story behind that? I do know the story behind that. Are you little, allowed to she, tell no, it? No, no. Yeah. I mean, she, she was hired for it and then... Uh, we were doing some You know training. who Mariska Haggerty is, right? Like, she was the highest paid actress after that oh, for but, years. But uh, the, the original Delcia, she started with us, and then they fired, then they got rid of her. Well, because of medical things, she had something wrong with her stomach, so. So there was three? No, no, just two. I, I, I'm, uh, you're talking about James Mansfield's daughter? That was the. Mariska Haggerty. Yeah, Mariska, yeah. They hired her after the first one because she was sick and she couldn't do it, so they hired her, and then they brought the first one back. That's all I know. But yeah, the, but something went down because they got rid of Mariska Haggerty. I know. Anyway, but we originally trained um, with so the first So we were there six Delphia. months. The point yeah. to the story. Yeah. So we were there six months in Australia, partying and having fun. I had never seen the sun come up like that before. Because bars don't close, and I was just like 22. And no, that was Walk Alaska. into a bar, and then all of a sudden you walk out, and it's daylight. It was crazy. It was hard, guys. No, I'm kidding. It was so fun. I remember we closed the whole city down. I always wanted to do a movie that was like, you close the city down. I don't know why. I just always wanted to like do a movie in an airport or somewhere really big, not just Castaic Park. Uh, we had a little park in that Castaic we filmed. Park. Yeah, I'd read and it'd be like, Hawaii and this, and we're like, oh, and they're like, Castaic. Everything Castaic was at that park. Lake. And it wasn't even really a big thing, so I always wanted to like close the city down or feel like I'm in a movie, and they did in Australia. They you know, closed this whole city down. I remember standing there going, wow, this is super cool. But then they put our shields cool. out. And, they and took we what? had a, that, that visors. We shot with the visors out on that street, and then we ended up putting the visors. Remember, we test shot it with the visors off. They took the you visors off. You have such a good memory. It. My hindsight yeah. is really. Well, I remember blurry. a lot. 
doing the shows, I remember stuff, but they took the visors out. Yeah. And I remember looking uh, at Johnny. And then going, it just didn't stupid. look right. It didn't look right because yeah. we're like, you could see us. <laughs> no but it was identity. crazy going from a TV show, yeah. which was very low budget, yeah. to this like $35 million movie, yeah. which we suddenly it was like yeah. nicer craft service, yeah. like everything was. But we yeah. still filmed the show during the off times over there, a few episodes. Oh my God, you're film. right. Yeah. Off times, we're like, all right, now film a TV Those show. Guys. Anyway, we had a great time. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks Six months. for your question. Oh, oh no, she needs your friend. friend. I want you back. You can do it. It's okay. She wants to film it. Oh, uh, okay. She's Here's like, get this for the gram. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sorry. My name's Crystal. I've been watching, I watched you guys when I was six when I was in Philippines. Um, I guess my question for you guys would be, um, do you guys plan on doing a movie together in the future? And will it have stunts in it that are kind of like maybe... You're what, hey, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, do do I'm totally hearing what you're saying. But I was... I have made me... It sparked a question of my own for Jason, which kind of has to do with what you're talking about. Okay. What, did, what was I watching on the Instagram? What are you guys filming? You and Jason. Oh, Bat and Jason. the Sun. Bat and the Sun. No, you are Jason. Johnny, Johnny, you and Johnny. Johnny. Jason, Jason, follow all those guys. We're shooting something that kind what of, that? kind of, uh, you have to wait to see, Amy. It's going to be released in a week. No, in it's a something week? for. Is it yeah, a short? It's, yeah, it's just a sizzle. What is it? Sizzle reel. A sizzle reel. A, sizzle reel. Yeah. a so for a feature based off of a feature? Oh, okay. Am I asking too many questions? I don't know. What's it yeah, called? No. <laughs> don't know yet. Oh, it's all a surprise. You, I only know this from Instagram, so they know as much as I know. Yeah, you know as okay, much so as Okay, so they're you know. asking yeah, yeah. the same questions. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. They didn't ask me to be in it. Whatever. Uh, you should write and direct a movie with him in it. Well, Jason's directing, because you're directing all your spoken word stuff, no, right? No, I got Albert's directing that. But oh, the spoken word? Yeah. Oh, because, because you know what? It's yeah, hard. It's, it's hard, hard to act and direct at the same time, yeah. especially, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's really But hard. it looks really pretty, all that yeah, stuff all you, you're doing. it's going to be good. But that yeah. round table thing, I was even like, I think Cameron is a... Uh, like I was con just as as an actor, I played eight oh, different roles. Oh, cross the line, yeah. Shade yeah, that's played hard. this guy, played that guy. Yeah, so Didn't directing would be yeah, yeah. Too, much, too much. She could direct me though. But do we ever plan on doing a movie? I don't know. I mean, if we we did the Power Ranger thing, wish we had more. I, it would have been great for me and Amy to do you be think the. Think they'll fog, do another the, one or no? Mm, Hasbro says that they're going to, but right now, as you know, how movie making is, it's going to take year and a half to two years before they can fill any... Well, before they write the script. Yeah. First they have you to write could the get script. more yeah. crossover opportunity there, too, because that's what Hasbro wants to do. They want to build their cinematic yeah. universe, so maybe we'll get Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers on the big screen maybe soon. Maybe we'll get Transformers and turn it over. But me and Amy should have been a mom or a dad to the Green Ranger would have been perfect. But where were we? We were Citizen One. Yeah, and, and I was... Citizen Two. The whole time, I was, they thought I was taking a picture. I was taking a selfie of ourselves. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're not taking us like smile. Yeah. It was still fun to be a part of it, though. It was fun. I robbed everyone. No? <laughs> it was fun, though. Thanks yeah. for your question. All right, let's see if we can rapid fire through the rest of the line. Hi there, guys. Uh, my name is David. I'm a huge fan of you guys. Uh, JDF, obviously. Um, Thank you. You were just there making your intro, ready to steal everybody's girl. Um, Amy, you were the guy. I mean, sorry, you were the girl that every little boy wanted. It was uh, really insane. You guys were game changing. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, obviously, phenomenal. Thank you. And um, my question is uh, I, Do you guys have like dreams or nightmares of being Power Ranger characters? Still? Still <laughs> They've gone away. Okay. I remember I had a really bad nightmare. It wasn't about being a Power Ranger, but it was when we were doing. Did you, were you part of the show in, in um, Universal Studios, or yeah. was that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when we did that show, we didn't realize how popular the show was, or I didn't, or I don't know if they did, but yeah. they ended no, up I selling out Universal Amphitheater four times in one day. It was insane, and we were basically doing this, like, on stage sort of rock star show, like, we come out and flip our helmets off, and the whole stadium goes, ah, it was insane for somebody for peak for kids who had never really been on a stage before and been in front of a crowd and i went home and i had crazy 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 nightmares for like a week straight it really freaked me out it was a, it was almost like too much attention and energy at, in one moment i know that doesn't really answer your question no, but it, it just does. reminded me of that but what i think you? there's a point to that that i think people are like oh you're an actor guys when we're actors we're on sets, we're like a camera. So there's two different parts of this. You have the public 
speaking, you have this. It was overwhelming. I remember it was just like, whoa. But I do karate, so I'm used to like taking stage and talking, but there's two different sides to acting. Acting's not like where everyone's watching. We're not doing a sitcom or you know uh, anything like that. We're privately, even though there's a crew of 50, you get to know them, you're like family. So it is a total two different ways of thinking, well, uh, you're an actor and an actress, how can that freak you out? Totally different. Screaming kids, like show after show after show. Um, I was used to, not used to that, but used to crowds, but even me, I was like, oh my God, like, it, it was, was just really insane. Intense. Then we went to Hawaii and it was the same thing. Like, oh my it was God. Just Did you guys ever hear that story? So when we were doing Power Rangers back then, we went to Hawaii and they had announced on the radio we were coming and we showed up and they didn't, ha they didn't know how many people would actually come to the airport and there was no security. And you know, when you get to Hawaii and they lay you, they put flowers on you. We got off the plane and they started laying us and laying. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Jason turns around and he looks at me and he has so many flowers on. All I see are his eyeballs. And he's like, it was so scary. And I, I like to say we almost got laid to death. Yeah. I know, Man, it's not it, that funny. But, it, was just, um, it was crazy to <laughs> know. true. It was so scary. Yeah, who were they there to see? It was, it was one of How those, many people came to the airport? The like, I remember. Thousands. Yeah, when Hawaii, same thing when me and her went to Florida. I mean, and part of the reason Saban didn't like that is because I still have news clippings. It was called Power of Failure everywhere because people were promised to see us, but there was 20,000 people. And we didn't know as an actor, we just showed up and did our stuff and cops had to take us through like these, you know, and then just think little kids. But remember this, stampede in the gorge, Simba's down there, that's what's happening. Everyone's trampling, little kids are stuck, you know. It's dangerous, it really does, people think that. Little, yeah, you know, so we had a, it was a crazy thing. But as far as nightmares uh, and dreams, you know, until I read on this thing that they're having in Vegas, they only last one to two seconds a dream. I'm just lost interest in having any dreams or nightmares. They last one or two seconds. It seems like forever. I wake up and I go, I have three movies stuck in my head that I just dreamt, no, one second. How does that even work? That's what it said in the science That's thing, that dreams nuts. last one to two seconds. No. That's what they said. It can't be That's true. That's what it said. Google it. That's what I, I read. I woke up On in the, the middle of a dream today. You know the body thing more. over here? You guys, we have 43 seconds. Oh, thank you, guys. 41. Let's, let's 40, see if we can get 39. through it really quick. Rapid fire answers. Can we uh, do it? Uh, all right, man. That's I'm Michael. Yeah. I just recently <laughs> got back guy. in Power Rangers since childhood. So I'm a new fan here. So. I have this question. Are you familiar with uh, Tokusatsu and, and its other series aside Power Rangers? No. So, uh, are you familiar with Kamen Rider? You said Rider? Rapid Mode. Familiar? <laughs> are you familiar with Kamen Rider or Ultraman? Nope. So, I don't. Really? I don't know. No, I'm not. Uh, no, Kamen Rider did appear on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once. No, it's Mask Rider. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, cool. No. Yeah. I'm just trying to rapid fire, guys. <laughs> You're anyway, playing by my I'm rules. I'm going to go eat lunch no. now because I'm starving. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Okay, we'll go quick. We're All right, this will be real quick. On the uh, uh, Power Rangers shows, who was the biggest uh, practical joker? I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> of Next. course. Does not Next. surprise me one bit. <laughs> Hi. Cool Hi. shirt. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joanna, and I was wondering... I have a question for Jason. I was wondering, why did you choose karate? Uh, when I was four years old, I just was walking by a karate school and saw this older lady doing karate and I stayed with it my whole life and then I wanted to play baseball. True story, and my instructor said, why throw, ball when, why throw balls when you can throw people? And I was like, okay, I'll just throw people. <laughs> I was stuck in karate my whole life. I love it. Aww, thank so you. Good. Thank you. I love that you're still so involved with your schools and everything and teaching yeah. and all that. That's so I'm cool, the Jason. I'm the mayor of Power Rangers. <laughs> you are the mayor. The no, last thanks. question I, I love teaching, here. Teaching Hi. Uh, so I'm Gabriel, and so what kind of favorite Power Ranger will you pick? Who's your favorite Power Ranger? Would you pick yourself? The oh, Pink Ranger. Oh. Be smart, Liar. kid. I'm going to teach you something in life. <laughs> Take lessons from me. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Jason. It's your oh, turn. I was gonna say the Blue Ranger because nice, I love. Nice. No, very no. Nice. I yeah. I I I like. You know what? The white one. The white. The white Ranger. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. different. Yeah. That's good. It's me. I like the costume. Yeah, I did too. I when she passed it's, out. It's very. <laughs> it's good costume with the gold and everything. Yeah, What's yours? Nice. Mm, white one. 
Yeah. The strongest one. The white one? Yeah, me too. Good choice. We, we like the same.